State of Texas versus Sonia, Son, Summer Munoz. All right, so what did you test positive for? Um, and you wanna go back to, I only use marijuana with me? No. You, I'm sorry, can you speak up and could you uncross your arms? You're not a little girl, you're not in the classroom. You are in a felony court yes, where you could potentially go to prison. So what are you been using? Oh, meth and marijuana. When's the last time you used meth? Um, like two days ago. No, it's more than two days ago. How often are you using? Um, I just got out of jail, so I haven't been using that often. Whoever the lady beside the defendant is giving her up with the body language. Like ma'am, your honor, she was smoking last night. When's the last time you used meth? Um, like two days ago. No, it's more than two days ago. How often are you using? Um, I just got out of jail, so I haven't been using that often. Well, I mean, you've been, you went straight from jail to use meth. Don't give me attitude. I'm not. You've been dishonest with the court. You made them waste of, you think UAs just are free? You made them waste a UA telling me that you're going to be positive for marijuana only when I knew it was not going to be the case. And now you're positive for meth amphetamines and marijuana so who are you like who you think you're playing with trying to play in somebody's face and now your word ain't ish nobody looks bad but you using with are you using by yourself in a dark room or are you using with some boyfriend who are you using no with? actually where i'm seeing it and where is that um what's a friend who is this friend her name is um natasha all right i like the way the judge is thinking she's making up a name trying not to bring up some guy she probably smoking with allegedly make up names i can't believe anything you're telling me now because you were dishonest about the drug use it's the only place i have to say it right now so i'm the use and it's just it was tempting yeah all right so they were using meaning more than one person she says she fell into temptation knowing she would be drug tested by the court shows how much she values her freedom so um i'm gonna want a tap evaluation asap please are you employed? No. So how are you supporting yourself? Um, I'm not. So who's supporting you? Nobody. Well, what are you eating other than drugs? Well, I have food stamps. I'm sorry, what? I have food stamps. Who's giving you food stamps? You don't have your child with you. Those food stamps are for your child. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just recently applied and I got approved for emergency food stamps. I cannot understand a word you're saying. I applied and I got approved for emergency food stamps. I know people who really should have food stamps don't, that don't get approved. So you don't have your child with you. You're using meth. You're probably selling your food stamps for meth. And this is a tampering with a government record. So I don't even know if you obtain your food stamps legitimately. So what did you tell them in order to get food stamps? Because you don't qualify. <laughs> I think she's probably gonna end up with another criminal case. Yes. Because uh i don't know i don't know a government giving out food stamps to people who won't work there's nothing wrong with you you don't have your child with you somebody else is taking care of your child oh no not for me i have to do for work i was like one of the conditions that um they gave me in order to get food stamps so i'm supposed to go into the workforce well you're obviously doing a poor job of it but i tell you what you're in this court you're going to have employment I'm not going to, you know, the, the length of probation is outside uh, the agreement. So it's going to be more than four years in this court. She's going to have to straighten up and fly right. The judge is not playing with her. If she thinks she can dip and dab, she'll be behind bars crying with no one to blame but herself. Because she has a lot of work that needs to be done to, I, I don't know why you're giving me the attitude. No, I'm not trying to. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. Either that or it's because you're high. I don't know which one it is. But you're giving me attitude, and that attitude will most likely be readjusted by me at the Bear County the Jail. The judge is coming down on her strong, letting her know her attitude can be adjusted behind bars. Some people were placed behind bars and taught a lesson. They stopped the drugging and bugging. They needed the time away to get clean and be able to think. Some others come out and play catch up. Everybody's therapy is not the same. The judge is trying to figure out what's going to be best for her right now. In jail. So I don't know if your attorney told you this, but I can send you to the Bear County Jail 
as a condition of this probation. And I can also send you to the state jail facility as a condition of this probation for attitude readjustment. Do you want that? Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna sentence her to six years deferred adjudication. You're getting a job and there are plenty of jobs that are available. You're going to knock your pride aside. And if you're going to be flipping burgers at McDonald's or working on fries, you're going to be the best fry person you can be until you move up. You understand? Mm -hmm. How far did you go in school? Mm -hmm. Ninth grade. Why did you drop out? I have a problem. What were these problems? You using drugs? Mm, no, not necessarily. I'm just like things that were going on with my mom and my mom's marriage and everything else. And what's that tattoo on your neck? This is one of the Trump's All right. People love to put down sands on their bodies because they can't remember them. All right, it's going to be a $1,500 fine probated, proof of employment, and it's going to be proof of full-time employment within 15 days. If you have to get two part-time jobs, you will get two part-time jobs for the court. Full-time employment is at least 40 hours a week. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Has Child Protective Services been in your life? Yes. And so were your rights terminated? No. Mm -hmm. What happened to your parental rights? I still have my rights, but I just don't have my daughter. My parents disagree to um, take care of me until I get, um, take care of my daughter until I get back on my family parenting classes, and I want intensive parenting classes. There's to be 150 hours of community service restitution that will not be waived. She has to do those. You're either going to get your DE, GED or either you're going to get some sort of trade certificate. Take in consideration 2023 CR 2907, County Court cause number 6679646685144. Seven zero zero four seven. I'm going to want a referral to felony drug court. Tap evaluation. Uh, if she's not accepted in felony drug court, we'll start with intensive outpatient treatment with um, probation. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. The UA hotline, and she's to be tested once a week. Make sure the levels are going down. If the levels start uh, going up, issue a motion to revoke. And I'm going to want field visits one time per week until further notice. She knows this is the end of her life as she knows it right now. She has to get a full-time job, start on an outpatient program, take parenting classes. This is a lot. Plus she had to come up clean on her drug test. There's no time for hanging out now. If she plays herself, she'll be behind bars. Uh, probation, is there anything else she needs? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, one time per month. Probation would have got a shock. <laughs> Anything else you need from the court to be successful? Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, we can go off the record. So that tattoo you have about only the strong will survive, that's the mode that your child is being in. And your child should not be in that. Her parents should not be using drugs. Her parents should get her life together and somebody else should not be raising your child. And you just 100% living off the government, that's not gonna happen in this court. You get another job, do you understand? And if you got those food stamps illegally, you better turn them in because your counsel can tell you what the government does they wait till your food stamps when you take those monies from the government and you shouldn't have it. They wait till it becomes a felony. Then they turn it in. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. The judge came down hard on the defendant. It's a hard task, but if she wants her life back, she's going to have to figure it out. In the end, if she does what's being told, it will be for her benefit. She would be off drugs and will be able to care for her child. If not, I see jail in her future. I wish her luck and hope she could complete the program. Thank you for watching Billy Blanco.